What's going on guys? My name is James with YouTube Creatives and today I am so excited to bring you today's video. We're going to be talking about picture profiles and Canon's C-Log and the new EOS R. It's not really that new, but it's new to me and I enjoy it. So we're going to do that today. That's today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. As I stated before, we're going to be doing the comparison or we're just going to be looking at Canon's C-Log at default settings in the EOS R and one of my favorite picture profiles on Canon, Fine Detail. I'm going to be using the Sigma 85R series lens f1.4 I believe and then of course the EOS R, we've already gone over that. Um, and then we'll get into the settings right now so let's take you to the back of the camera. So we're going to go ahead and hit menu and then we go over to tab 4 of the first actual tab, the camera tab and you scroll down to catalog settings, which is right here. So if you go all the way to the top, you go all the way down here, right underneath picture settings, you have your catalog settings. Go to catalog settings, and if you wanna turn them on, obviously you turn them on. Um, and then we're gonna do our recording, and then when we're ready to do the vivid, I'm gonna go ahead and turn catalog off. And then I'm gonna hit menu again, go back. And then I'm gonna go to picture style. And this is what I always shoot on. I shoot on fine detail, just because it gives it that nice little bit of crispness it gives it a little bit more sharpening so that's where you find all of your picture styles um, another good one is portrait if you guys are interested in that but uh, fine details what I shoot at personally um, good thing about Canon is that they put them right next to each other as well so it's nice you have picture style and then your Canon lock settings are right below it of course uh, I'm gonna go shoot a few videos for you guys uh, and Tony's actually gonna be doing the editing so if you guys see anything past this and hear his voice don't be freaked out that is just Tony he has a weird voice I know Yeah, the amount of detail right here in this uh, picture style, uh, fine detail versus the C-Log, to me, this is much finer detail. The C-Log should have a lot more dynamic range, should be able to do a lot more with it. So I'm pretty certain that we messed up here and we just did not expose correctly. Wherever the mistake lies, we didn't, we didn't get it right on this. But look at the amount of grain that we have right here in the image. Just a ton of grain. Not a lot of detail on the cup here. The lemon doesn't, it's just everything's washed out and grainy, doesn't look good. We're over here, it's far, far sharper and more details retained in this image. I'm gonna go back over to the coloring here. It just, it's just falling, the image is falling apart right away. Anything with the shadows going in the opposite direction other than boosting them up, and there's so much grain going on here that it just looks horrible. So you can see right here what it's doing. The, like I said, the image is falling apart. I'm no grading expert, but just me with the little experience that I have grading the Cine profile on the Sony, I can move these sliders much more drastically and not run into these problems. So I'm pretty positive. You guys, there's I'm sure of you some watching this video that know better than I that we definitely underexposed on these shots. So I feel that's what we did wrong. Even right here as I'm looking at this, I'm just blown away because the 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 detail the color were much more uh, true to life right here and the roll off on this just looks so much nicer than here to me even if we start cranking these up we definitely missed the mark on this gonna have to practice with it get better with it but one thing i would definitely say to you guys if you're going to try the flat picture profiles don't shoot it on important footage practice with it get in there and actually test shoot 
use test footage is what I'm saying. Use test footage. That way you're not ruining shots that are important to you, so. And just like third grade English class, this is the conclusion. Back at it. Okay, so that was Canon's C-Log or Canon Log. Uh, I hope you guys liked what you saw. Um, tell me what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. Also tell me what you guys thought about the comparison. What do you think about Canon's fine detail versus their C-Log? Do you guys see yourself using it in the future? If not, let me know and tell me why. Uh, but other than that, it's gonna wrap up today's video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down, everything, smash the like button. I'm going on here on a tangent, but this is YouTube Creatives. My name is James, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys next time. Awkward videos are the best. You know, I don't know why I'm even doing this, because you guys might not even see this. Tony, if you're putting this in the video, you're awesome. I don't even know if you're gonna see this. But uh, everyone else is about to record their videos, and I'm having a really good time, because they're all really nervous. I wish you guys could see it, but yeah, this is gonna end it. Okay, they're coming back in, bye.